Hey there friends, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing UFLI Foundations Lesson 10, where we will be working on our CVC words with the vowels A and I. In addition to the vowels A and I, or the sounds, A and I, we'll also be using the letters F, S, M, M, N, N, P, P, S, S, and T, T. Let's look at an example word. This is the word tip. T, I, P, tip. I can sound it out because I know the sounds that the letters make. So now you try. T, I, P, tip. Well done. Let's take a look at some other words. I'll put the word on the screen and you try to sound it out before I do. What does this word say? Good, this is the word nap. N, A, P, nap. What vowel sound do we hear in the word nap? Good, we hear the vowel sound A, made by the letter A. What does that word say? Good, this is the word fit. F I T fit. What vowel sound do you hear in the word fit? Well done, we hear the vowel sound I, made by the letter I. What does this word say? This is the word sit. S -i -t, sit. What vowel sound do you hear in the word sit? Good, we have the vowel sound i made by the letter i. What did we change to get the word sit from the word fit? We had the word fit. We changed something and now we have the word sit. What sound did we change? The beginning sound, the middle sound, or the ending sound? Good, we changed the beginning sound. We did have a s at the beginning. Now we have an s at the beginning. S it fit. Change the s to a s. And we get the word sit. S it sit. Good. What does that word say? Well done, this is the word pat. P, a, t, pat. What vowel sound do we hear in the word pat? Good, we have the vowel sound a made by the letter a. What does this word say? But this is the word sat. S, a, t, sat. What did we change in the word pat to get the word sat? The beginning sound, the middle sound, or the ending sound? Good, we changed the beginning sound. We had the sound p at the beginning, and we changed it to the sound s. So we changed the word pat into the word sat. What vowel sound do you hear in the word sat? Well done, a, 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 made by the letter A. What does this word say? Good, this is the word if. I, f, if. What's different about the word if compared to the rest of the words? Good, the word if only has two sounds and two letters, where the rest of our words had three sounds and three letters. What vowel sound do you hear in the word if? That's right, i, 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 made by the letter i. What does this word say? Good, this is the word at, at, at. Think about 
the word if that we just read on the previous page. How is the word if similar to the word at? That's right, they're both words that have two letters and two sounds. Do if and at have the same vowel sound or different vowel sounds? Good, they have different vowel sounds. What vowel sound do you hear in at? Good, we hear the sound a, 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 made by the letter A. What does that word say? Good, this is the word fat. A, t, fat. What did we do to the word at to make it become the word fat? Did we add a sound, delete a sound, or change a sound? Good, we added a sound. Did we add that sound to the beginning of the word, the middle of the word, or the end of the word? That's right, we added it to the beginning. We already had the word at, then we added the sound to the beginning to give ourselves the word fat. What does that word say? Good, this is the word in. I, n, in. What vowel sound do we hear in the word in? Very good, we have I, 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 made by the letter I. And last one, what does this word say? Well done, this is the word pit. P, I, T, pit. What vowel sound do we hear in the word pit? Good, we hear I, 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 made by the letter I. Let's read these words as quickly as we can. Tin. In. Well done. Now let's do a bit of writing. I want to write the word pat. What sounds do we hear in the word pat? Let's stretch it together. At pat. The first sound I hear is p. What letter says p? Good, letter p. The next sound I hear in pat is a. What letter says a, a, a? Good, letter A. The last sound I hear in pat is t, p, a, t, pat. What letter says t, t, t? T, very good. Now I've written the word pat, p, a, t, pat. I want to change the word pat into the word pit. Which sound do I need to change? The beginning sound, the middle sound, or the ending sound? Good, I need to change the middle sound. In the word pat, the vowel sound is a. In the word pit, the vowel sound is i. So the p stays the same, a changes to an i, and the t stays the same as well. Pit, p, it, pit. I want to write the word tin. What sounds do we hear in the word tin? Let's stretch it. T, i, n, tin. The first sound I hear is t. What letter says t? Good, t says t. The next sound I hear in tin is i. What letter says I? I, very good. The last sound I hear in tin is N. T, I, N. What letter says N? Good, N says N. So now I've written the word tin. T, I, N, tin. I want to change the word tin into the word pin. 
Which sound should I change? The beginning sound, the middle sound, or the ending sound? That's right, I need to change the beginning sound. Right now, the word tin starts with the sound t, but the word pin starts with the sound p. That means I need to change my t to a p, keep my i i, and keep my n n. Well done. Let's take a look at some sentences. We have some heart words and some words we can sound out. The heart word that I see on this page is the word I. The rest of the words we can sound out. I, t, ap, tap, it, it, in, in. Let's read together. I, tap, it, in. Well done. Let's try another sentence. I see the heart word is and the heart word the. Let's sound out the rest of our words. T, I, M, Tim, is, I, N, in, Tim is in the, Tim is in the, P, I, T, pit. Tim is in the pit. Let's read together. Tim is in the pit. Well done. Let's take a look at this sentence. I see the heart word the, and the heart word is, and the heart word the again. The rest of the words we should be able to sound out. So let's try from the beginning. The, p, i, n, pin, is, the pin is in, in, the pin is in the, the pin is in the t, i, n, tin, the pin is in the tin. Let's try together. The pin is in the tin. Very good. Now I want to write a sentence. Let's write the sentence. The mat is in the tin. You'll notice this is similar to the sentence we just read. Let's start with the heart word the. I need to start with a capital letter since I'm writing a sentence. And I know the is spelled T-H-E. The mat. What sounds do we hear in mat? M, a, t, mat. The first sound I hear is m, mm, then a, t. The mat is, that's another heart word. Notice that I'm leaving finger spaces between my words as well. The mat is in. What sounds do we hear in in? I, n, good. I, n, the mat is in the, there's another heart word, still T-H-E for the, the mat is in the tin. Let's stretch out the word tin. T, I, n, tin. I hear the sound t, the sound i, and the sound n. To finish my sentence, I'll put a period at the end. For your follow-up today, you'll be reading a story called The Pit. Watch as I read and then try by yourself. The Pit. A Pit. Min is in the pit. Nat is in the pit. Min and Nat sit. Min and Nat sit in the pit. Sap is in the pit. Min and Nat sat in sap. Oh no, Min and Nat. Well done today, my friends. Try reading the story by yourselves and keep practicing those CBC words with vowels A and I.